Hello YouTube, I'm glad uh, in the last video that you could actually hear the music. But what I'm not glad about is that my nose is stuffed up. And I'll be right back YouTube. I know, don't you just love when people say that? So, um, while you're waiting, you can enjoy this song I wrote a long, long time ago. I wrote it a long time and I mixed it. And it took forever. Not to be a show off, but I really had to blow my nose. Alright. So, anyway, let's uh, create a new track. This time, I'm going to be showing you recording. Now, recording on Mixcraft is quite different than doing the meets or the matched beats. Okay. So, you get this every time you open a window, right? Yay. Well, we're going to click on record yourself or your band. And. Luckily, I have this brand new microphone, so I no longer have to hold this cheap one that came with SingStar Amped. And by the way, I stink at that game. Anyway, so let's get going, shall we? Alright, so let's record ourselves. These are your playback controls right here. It can <coughs> control... This will record, this will rewind all the way to the beginning, this will rewind a couple of seconds, this will play, this will fast forward, fast forward to the end. Here's the part I've been dreading to tell y'all about. Volume. So complicated. This, you can control the overall volume. Overall volume right here. You know, right with this for the particular thing that's on there. Okay, this is the pan, so it determines what speaker it comes out of more. Alright, every time you go to record, you're going to click R for recording, and you're going to see it's picking up my voice. Glad to see I'm not talking too loud, huh? Alright, so let's go ahead and record my voice. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Alright. So on the microphone, I'm not a good singer, but boy, I am in real life. Yeah, I didn't use my best singing voice there. So that's good. Let's lower the overall volume. Now this line right here, can you see it right in the middle of the loop? It's also volume. So let's turn that up. Now I'm going to use my trusted desk here. We want to go to the next line, arm this, unarm that, and I'm going to record. And you're going to actually hear yourself what you played last time you record, so you know what to do. Alright, so that was a pretty good drum. I didn't think it would turn out that way. So let's listen to it. Alright, so that's what we got so far. We need a bass, right? Alright, so. Alright, so we added our bass. You see how the recording works? I'm not getting enough bass, so I had to turn the volume up either here or here. This is best if you plan on putting tracks after that that you won't want to be loud. So let's try it again. Alright, so that's pretty good, I guess, for one man man, huh? Alright, so... 
See how it works? Alright. Well, let's see what else can I teach you about the mixing while I'm here. Add a new track. See, with mixing, you have to, you don't have to follow the metro, you have to follow the metronome, but with recording, you don't. But, if you want to add a marker, just right click up here, click add marker, or you can click right here, too. And, you could like, tempo, I didn't mention this in the first video, you could change color, maybe color code it, tempo change, you could change tempo key, time signature, and okay, yeah. I didn't change anything, but and for when you're creating CDs with this stuff, you just click right here, add a new track, audio track. Oh wait, wait, wrong thing, wrong thing. Disregard that, absolutely disregard it. It was the completely wrong thing. Not what I meant to say. Not what I meant to click. It's completely, completely wrong. Alright, you right click here, add a marker. And if you want to create a track for when you're burning CDs, right there. And this thing has a CD burning thing. Oh, uh, where is it? Track. Oh, golly, there's a place where you could uh, burn CD. It says burn, C burn CD right here. I don't want to make changes. Yeah, I know, I don't. I know I don't have a CD burner. Don't ruin my whole video. Alright. Here we go. I think I have a spare CD. Just so I could, uh. Just so I could try this real quick. Got plenty of time, huh? Here we go. Blank CD. Yep, it's blank. Hmm. If you've ever played Star Wars Jedi Outcast, then you should know that that's a pretty good game. Alright, so we have a CD in there. Let's start burning. Continue. Got one in there. Okay. So it'll take a while to burn. So long. Oh, here it is. It does the weirdest thing after it's finished. And you're about to hear it. It's so stupid. I don't I don't know what's up. I can't believe they actually put it in there where it does it. It's weird. It creeps me out every time I burn a CD. So, yeah. Okay. Hope I'm not going over the YouTube time, but I am. And I'm not one, I'm not one of those celebrity members, whatever. Alright. Well, I'm going to end the video here. It's. Oh, no. Never mind. CD is ready. Did you hear that? What is that? Like a four year old girl saying that? It was so stupid. Well, thank you for watching.